little bit in favor of red, I'm going to take a back from the uh, back pylon of the reinforcement training for them. You can be able to work in those units. If you do have one uh, utilist in the way, you can be able to do that back on the other one, but the stalker should be able to do that. Very nice. I thought that one stalker. Pulling drones off the line as well. More reinforcements coming. This is going to be a close fight here. Drones taking it to the Protoss player. And actually, whoa! Took down a lot of guys there. Uh, this is a drone. Go drone. Uh, all of a sudden, uh, though, they have to retreat. But again, he holds off with the assault. Uh, more? Okay, running back. Both Looks like both players are uh, just kind of holding their holding their own right now. Zergling is trying to do a run by. Probe is going to see them. And we'll see how much damage they do. They do have that Zergling speed as well. More units warping in. Going to go for the mineral line. No, going to go back up. Going to try it. Oh, oh, wow. Very nicely done by that Zealot. Seal off that hole for those Zerglings from running. Winter needs pulling probes as well to deal with those Zerglings. Very nice. Very nice strategies and tactics being thrown down all around your drone. I'd like to see um, perhaps a Nidus Swarm. Don't know if we're going to see that. I have more of a feeling that he just forgot that drone existed, which is quite, quite sad. Red again building up forces outside of Blue's base. Blue's got a very nice Roach Army going down. He's spreading those creep tumors, giving that even more speed advantage. Going to try to snipe out that pylon, but uh, not going to happen at this point in time. Got to love the upgrades. Got a lot of upgrades down here. Protoss is just have the one weapon upgrade as well. And again, another thing often repeated, but very nice for those Zelts have that one weapon upgrade. But against a massive Roach Army, you have this coming in, the Roaches should be able to clean this up. And we'll see if Red decides to fall back. He does, in fact, fall back at that point. You know, Queen coming in. Very nice. I believe this, this pylon will probably not last long as well, and there they go. I haven't seen this. I haven't seen this. I'm just that good that I know that uh, units will attack enemy units. Do you have another overseer sitting out here? Just checking out what's going on. And uh, yeah, this probe. I don't know. Maybe he is saving this for something. We'll see. We do have the roaches coming in. And for a counter-attack, Stalker's being warped in as well. We do have a Proton Penny in front of defense, but I don't know if that's done in time. All turns looking very bad for Red. As a massive Roachon comes in here. Upgrades underway for the Roach now, so the Roach is not going to be attacked. Portal coming in, and more probes being fed off the line to try to deal with this. Zealot's coming in as well. Blue, well, I'm not sure if he's going to be able to make this here. He's going to take down that Immortal. Now the Zealots are getting worked and these guys need to get into the battle as quickly as possible. Some very nice back and forth going on here. But all of a sudden this is not looking too good for the blue player. He should fall back at this point. A little bit more stalkers coming in. And uh, yeah, so I do think that red is going to hold it. That photon cannon is complete. A second one coming down. So red will live. Phew, yes. We'll live to fight another day. Blue, on the other hand, is taking down the Truckle Rock. I can only assume to throw down another hatchery at this point in time. I'm taking a quick look here at the income. Red is, uh, is ahead in the harvest account and ahead in the uh, as the minerals and was, as you would assume when you're ahead in harvesters. So red is certainly in the lead at this point. Take a quick look at the economy size as well. Only had a little bit five to four, but that also should take into account that he is ahead on the harvester. So this is a very even game at this point. He's taking a quick look. Red is ahead value-wise. That's uh, what you want to call it. Taking down your control uh, So both players uh, decided to hold off a little bit on the attacking and instead focus on economy at this point in time. Trying to get a little bit settled after a lot of back and forth. Now a nice little army being formed here by Wintermute. And uh, same over here, just going, just going mass roaches. We have seven mutalisks about to be finished as well for the blue player. So we might be gearing up for one final battle at this point in time. That hatchery underway. Mutalisks just chilling, chilling like villains that they are. More zealots underway, just building, slowly building. 
army count. Red still just slightly ahead, but again, harvesters, got to take that into account. He is ahead by 10, so blue is actually slightly in the lead with the army, but I think red just pulled ahead there with that final little warp in. So looks like red is moving out here, taking out those creep tumors very nice. No observers, though, at this point, so he's not going to be able to see these creep tumors in the ground. We're going to have a big engagement here, of course, what's going on. Trying to split up that roach army very nice, separating them right in two. The mulists are coming in. There should be enough to deal with them, maybe. <laughs> I don't know, but still, this roach has got to be slaughtered, so the mulists are going to get wrapped up. There's more coming in. Looks like going to pump out a ton of zerglings to try to take down this roach Back here, they gotta get in here and hunt down so they can try to seal off this so no further reinforcements are going to be made. Drones are going to try and run, run away, and uh, even with the old uh, expansion there. That floor and the dragon is deep enough, trying to get a surround today of this is not going to last long. As they can see, they get in here. All of a sudden, uh, it looks like Red tried to, uh, you know, might have pulled this game out of here. It's a little nice back and forth going on. Uh, does fall, and just in terms of uh, units, uh, well, not much. We have a <laughs> just a little annoyed by the gate pushes, though. Not very good at them. And uh, that's probably going to be it, because it's just going to be mined out if you cannot. Sounds like this game is wrapping up. Yeah, some nice friendly banter going on here as the red army completely destroys the blue. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, here we are. I think that's going to about do it. Okay, but I want to thank everybody. We can get the winter games really thank you this game. Nice to see some higher level play every now and then. Like I said, I'm always a, uh, like casting all levels of play, but it's good to see that those diamond level games. Popping up every now and then. Nice little back and forth action going on. And uh, if anyone else out there has a game they'd like me to cast, please feel free to send it my way to favorite star grab. Thank you everyone for subscribing as well. And uh, yeah, so we'll just watch. <laughs> Looks like a little bit of a, a roach army popped up here. Um, so maybe it's not as over as I thought it would be. But yeah, okay, all right. He's calling it. He's calling GG. There's the GG. Very well played. Very nice. Very nice. Always a big fan of the well-mannered StarCraft players. And there we go. So thank you again, everybody. And I will uh, hopefully get some more replays up in timely fashion. So thanks, everybody.